what's better than the default cube? Well, a default hypercube, of course. So let me show you how to make this 4D cube with geometry nodes. Select the default cube and head over to the geometry nodes workspace. And press new to add a new node tree. Add an extrude mesh node to extrude each face of the cube one unit distance outwards. Then add a scale elements node and connect the top output of the extrude mesh node to the selection input. This way we only change the scale of the extruded faces, so set the scale value to 2 to double the scale of each extruded face. Next, add a yarn geometry node and connect the original geometry as well. The reason for this is that when we extrude the faces of the cube, the original faces are deleted, so by joining the original geometry, we get them back. Now we just have to remove all the overlapping vertices with a merge by distance node to create a solid mesh. And then scale it down with a transform node by setting the scale to 0.5. And finally, we just need to add a wireframe modifier after the geometry nodes modifier. And that's it. Now, one thing to keep in mind when it comes to geometry nodes is the fact that there are usually more than one way to do things with the system, and being efficient with geometry nodes often comes down to finding the best way to do things. So just for demonstrational purposes, here is a node setup that I made that also creates a 4D cube, but as you can see, it's a bit more… complex. Sometimes it's better to just keep it simple. See you next time.